was like, I ain't got time for that, trying to drive in my work truck. Going to work, I don't need gas, stomach ache, my mouth on fire, needing milk, I've got dairy issues. It's like, nah. I'm at an auto body place because I've been dealing with some issues with the truck, kind of. I'll just show you. By the way, it's currently February 28th, 2023. So I have one of these on my truck. And I always have to use this big wire right here. And this is the end that goes into the wall, obviously. You can see how new it is. This has been outside. And it's still new outside in the wilderness. This is what I come to work to today. It is completely fused, melted, fried, burned. It looks absolutely horrendous. Here, if this gives you... So this is before and after. I don't know if you can see this, but it's actually bulging at the top when it's supposed to be dipped in, like this one. These two are supposed to match. So this thing almost caught in fire, on fire in my truck. So I currently am going to go to Camper's World and other places to try to figure out how to get that fixed. In the meantime, I have delivered, I have run out of gas in my generator, and I bought these, and I also bought these guys. These, what did I say, were $3.29, and these were $4.39. Crazy. So I'm gonna get back to you on these momentarily, but these are amazing and they're addictive, and you just drink a lot of water and electrolytes if you're gonna have it. Ah. Well, like I said, I'm in an auto body place, and there's a Jeep Wrangler, and it's been flipped over. I just realized there's a bunch of little plastic pieces coming off power cord that I just had in my lap. So I have all this clear crap all over me. <laughs> if you guys like these kind of videos, don't forget to hit subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the like button, leave comments. Let me know what your favorite snacks are on the road. Let me know what kind of truck you're driving. Or if you're not driving a truck, maybe you're a traveling nurse. Maybe you're a prescription salesperson. Maybe you're a realtor and it's your day to day. Let me know what you snack on. If you find anything healthier, please let me know. But you guys have a good one, bye. Hey guys, it's BBS with ITSH Productions and I'm getting some extension cords things figured out with the truck I have delivered today, but that is a priority. Today, I have already viewed these which, by the way, a million out of ten is how I feel about them because they're expensive and I don't get to eat them as much as I want to because of it. And they are my absolute favorite. Um, oh, you see that big 18-wheeler going by me? There is a petite little lady driving that beast. Woohoo! Love it. <laughs> I just get all this credit for being a woman driving a truck. And I'm just like, y'all, people drive a lot bigger trucks than I drive. And I mean, it doesn't have to be a woman. Just the fact that anybody's driving an 18-wheeler is just impressive as hell to me. Two reasons. You have your life and everybody around you in your hands. Secondly, do you know what it takes to make that thing go? I mean, like, just this truck on its own. Of course, I have a generator, so I have to make sure the generator's working, everything's connected, and all my freezers are good. But at the same time, make sure you don't flip off right now. It's a sharp turn, it's a sharp turn, everybody hold on. Ooh, yeah, it's still turning. All right. Yeah, people driving 18 wheelers. I mean, I'm sure you have to check breakers, switches, plugs, tires, all the things. But you have to check all the things before you can even put the key in the ignition. And then after that, it's a whole nother ball of wax. I am not a bee. I don't have time for wax, okay? Ball of wax. Make it bad. All right, guys. So that is my favorite snack that I can think of offhand that I never get to buy because it's too expensive. For example, uh, my husband loves, what are they called? Pistachios. Those things are expensive as heck. It's like $7 for a bag. I'm gonna get over. There's a bee blown over anyways. <laughs> Flying like a bat out of hell. Let's see if we can see him in the. Did you see that? That was a Ford Explorer. These are barbecue flavor, and they also had a ranch flavor along with like salt and vinegar and all cheddar, super cheddar, spicy. With the this little guy's face was like, oh! and I was like, I ain't got time for that. Trying to drive in my work truck, going to work. I don't need gas, stomach ache, my mouth on fire, needing milk. I've got dairy issues. It's like nah. So. 
It looks like it's right to his mustache is how much they short you, but at the same time, they put that air in there for freshness purposes, so what's she gonna do? Okay. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That initial taste is really good. Ooh. Oh my God. What the hell was that? Anyway, so the flavoring on this is immaculate. It's fantastic, I love it. The chip itself though, I know that's what Pringles taste like usually, but I feel like it's a little mealy. I hate that word, mealy. It's almost kind of chewy. It doesn't have a snap to it. I'm not bothered by texture usually, but something about this just seems weird. You know what it is? I usually eat at least three together, so let's do it. It definitely tastes better with three chips. That's not a bald eagle, is it? Don't be a bald eagle. I said I'm gonna want to videotape you. It's belly and head and tail all look brown. The light's coming from this way, and he's flying this way, so all I can see is a shadow, but that beak is screaming American bald eagle. I'll tell you one thing though, after eating this and this, your breath will be kicking. Woo! The whole time I was talking to an electrician, three electricians. I was like, can they smell my breath right now? Sure. I almost want to follow this up with some of this. I was going to say almost. I am going to follow it up with some of this. I'm going to go over here first. So I'm having to go to Home Depot for some extension cords. And there are Snyder's pretzel pieces, honey mustard and onion, and these are absolutely delicious. I could taste the sodium in them though. But they look like this and they have the honey mustard on that side. They're addicting. I could eat all of it. 